hi so today we are going to deploy our first hello world application on kubernetes and for that purpose we are going to use uh, google cloud uh, so uh, that's our deployment architecture and uh, we can see that uh, we are going to create a uh, gke cluster which will have uh, three ports uh, so you can consider these ports as uh, servers and uh, on top of that we are going to expose these cluster with a load balancer which will uh, load balance the uh, traffic between these specific ports so uh, whenever user try to access the application it will the traffic will be redirected to that load, ba load balancer and then load balancer will retract the application on that ports and uh, on the other side uh, the application administrator will have a yaml file which will include all the necessary configuration and the specification of the ports and basically he can uh, uh, change uh, the number of ports and the specification of the ports with that specific yaml file so that's our app, uh, deployment architecture and uh, now first of all we would need a an account on google cloud so uh, i have shared the link uh, for creating a account on GCP so let's just click on that link uh, I will click on get started for free and after that I have to put uh, the country name and uh, the organization name I have selected others I will hit continue so after that you have to mention the uh, uh, your business name you can mention the company name here or uh, you have to mention the card details billing address and the card holder name so after putting all that detail uh, you, your account will be created so i have already created my account on gcp so uh, i i have already signed it so i will hit console so after that i will be uh, redirected to uh, that uh, prompt so uh, first of all you need to activate your subscription to start your free trial so I have I will hit activate and after that uh, first of all you need to enable all the necessary API's so that you can work uh, uh, with the Kubernetes and uh, the Google Container Registry API which will be which we would be needing in our uh, tutorial so i have already enabled all the api so uh, it is uh, showing me uh, manage for that so you have to enable all these apis so whenever you make an account on a google cloud so google cloud allocates you a project so as you can see i have uh, i am in a project with the name my first project so i will hit uh, Google CLI so we are going to uh, create a docker image uh, which will be deployed to the cluster so first of all we need to set up our project ID so uh, I will go copy this command so I need to replace this project ID with the with my current project uh, ID so I will go to dashboard and I will go, I'm going to copy this project ID and uh, just hit enter just to ensure that you have set up your project id so you can see that uh, my project id is there so uh, you have to set up uh, the project id for your uh, current project 2 for your current project and for your uh, google cli 2 so i am setting up th uh, this project id so after that uh, you have to clone uh, uh, the repo in which your hello app is you know pushed so I am going to clone this repo so if I do ls here you can see that I have this uh, repo with the name kubernetes sample so I am going to you know access this repo and uh, after that you can see I have a docker file there if I just see what's in it so you can see that uh, the base image is golang and uh, uh, i'm going to initialize hello world app and it, it is going to be exposed on port 8080 so that's the basic docker file for a hello world app so what i need to do is i need to build uh, the image from that docker file so i will hit 
just copy this command for building the image and our image is done if i do docker images you can see that we have a uh, docker image with the tag vi in the repository hello app so uh, let's just uh, run a docker container from that specific image i am going to copy this command and if i hit enter so this uh, command will run uh, docker container on the port 8080 and if i could uh, if i do preview web so you can see that our application is running and uh, you can see the all about content on that so after that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to authenticate our uh, docker container registry so that we can uh, push our uh, image which can be further used to deploy our application so i am going to authenticate our registry just you you should you know uh, replace your uh, zone with that specific zone i have used us east one there and it is already authenticated so then you have to tag your uh, uh, current image uh, with uh, with the project id in which you are working in so uh, do uh, replace it with your current project id so the image is tagged so now uh, we need to push this image uh, into that uh, docker container registry so if i do docker images you can see two images there so after that we are going to push uh, our image uh, to the uh, docker container registry by which we are going to uh, um, create our kubernetes cluster so it will push our image and I, as i already image uh, pushed the image so it is showing me layer already exists so we are done on our command line so now we are going to uh, configure a cluster so let's just go to kubernetes cluster and uh, hit create so we need to configure standard cluster and i will hit configure so you can name this uh, i will uh, i will name this as hello world cluster one and uh, you can select your uh, zone down there from i will select us east one b you can select any zone you want so from default pool do change your node specification node uh, boot disk size to 30 less than 30 because it is uh, feasible so uh, I, after that i will hit create and uh, our cluster is just configured from notification you can see that it is configured so uh, next we are going to uh, deploy our image on that cluster so from existing cluster can image container select hit select and uh, you should see your uh, image that you have pushed through command line in container registry so if i expand it you uh, that's our image i uh, will hit select and uh, from i will hit continue and i can name my deployment as i want i will name it as hello world app and uh, so from cluster it has already selected my uh, the cluster I, I just have created and if i do view yaml file it, uh, it will show me the configuration of the pods uh, that we have created so if i hit deploy so our uh, kubernetes cluster uh, will get start getting deploy on that image so we will just wait for that so as you can see uh, uh, our uh, cluster is just deployed and uh, you can see uh, uh, from down there we uh, it has uh, three uh, ports and on which our cluster is running if i hit expose so we can expose it on port 8080 by using a load balancer uh, so that our uh, all the public uh, traffic will be redirected to that load balancer and that load balancer will redirect the application to that to our ports 
so from external endpoints we can see we have been allocated with a public IP and if I hit so you can see that uh, our application is successfully deployed and it's running on port 8080 so uh, from now on if uh, we can uh, do a bunch of things we can you know change the specification of the ports number of the ports the replica set of the ports and uh, uh, if I go to the workload you can see that uh, that's our hello app cluster so so now I will go to uh, cloud shell I'm going to expand it to the uh, other tab so uh, first of all what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, get the credentials of our current cluster so that we can uh, communicate with uh, from CLI with our uh, cluster so I'm going to replace uh, the cluster name with my current cluster name and uh, do replace your zone with uh, the zone in which the cluster has been made so as my cluster has been made in US East 1B so I'm going to replace it with that so it's done so now uh, if I do queue uh, CTL get ports I should see my ports so that's it or oh, you can see over all three ports so now you can uh, do a bunch of things you can you know delete a port you can add a port you can do uh, a lot of things that uh, uh, all the commands have been mentioned and uh, I will share uh, this document uh, in the description and uh, if I just uh, copy a command from there I will uh, if I if I try to delete a port let's see what happens so I will replace it my uh, with my port name so the port has been deleted if I do kubectl get port so you can see that if I try to delete a port it just create a new port and uh, keep the default quantity of the port uh, Two, three, as we have mentioned in uh, while creating the GK cluster. So that's all uh, for today, and uh, hope we meet in our next session. Thank you.